But first, if you're like me, you love playing computer games, well, I jumped at the opportunity when I got invited to California to actually being one. Can you believe it? I thought it was an incredible opportunity. I just couldn't miss. Welcome to San Francisco on the west coast of the United States. I'm at Pixar's animation studios where films like Toy Story, Monsters Inc. and The Incredibles were made. The nothing is beneath me! I hereby declare war on peace and happiness! Soon all will tremble before me! Now I love The Incredibles and although they're not making a film sequel, they are making a new computer game which will take up the story where the film left off. And I'm going behind the scenes to see how such games were made. Pixar is a very creative workplace where employees are actually encouraged to play in order to get their imagination flowing. I was starting to get ideas for the Blue Peter office. Mike was lead animator on the Incredibles film and involved in their new game, Rise of the Enderminer. I animated Frozone on this film, so my job was uh, to make Frozone come to life on screen. Where is my super suit? So was your role the same then for the game? For the game, we helped make sure that the characters in the game were the same characters as the ones in the movie. Right, and the robots are the bad guys. Would you like to be a bad guy? I'd love to be a bad guy. You look like a nice guy, but let's make you a bad guy, okay? <laughs> okay. It'll be the Geth bot. Geth bot? Yeah. I love that. Let's start with your head. Gethbot, bad guy. <laughs> to bring Gethbot to life, I visited the animation studios where the Incredibles game was made to meet character artist Tom. Now then, Tom, you're working on Mr. Incredible at the moment, but how'd you get him from paper to screen? Somebody built a clay model instead of drawing the, the concept of the thing that they want modeled in the game. We would take a picture of that and scan that picture and then I would drop those into this 3D program. The drawing becomes the original that I'm kind of tracing, and instead of tracing another drawing on top, I'm kind of tracing a model on top of that drawing, and then I can massage the model into uh, looking good in all dimensions. But what I'd really like to know is how realistic is Gethbot looking? Aha! Uh -huh. Start modeling with a, with a cube. I cheated a little bit. Ears are hard to model. Do you know so what? This it's is actually your, this quite is scary. Evil al alter ego. <laughs> wow, I look mean. So, can I do anything to him? Yeah, sure. Me. Well, let's him, see. me. I'm the same person. <laughs> How you doing? Howdy, howdy. You can uh, grab these verts right around here. This is a stylus. Pull on any of these arrowheads. Oh, look, look, Nick. <laughs> That's brilliant. So, that well, is um... the biggest chin I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> You've been very flattering, but my nose is actually a lot bigger. So <laughs> let me just make my nose a bit bigger. How's that? There you go, well. <laughs> now the guest bot is looking mean. Who is this guy? You will all be crushed within my grip. Whoever he is, he's shown up in the wrong place at the wrong time. One way to animate a computer character is by using a real person's body. Now, by wearing this special suit, which feels and looks pretty odd, I must be honest, my movements can be tracked by these markers, so the character on screen does exactly the same thing as me. This process is called motion capture, and Vaughn's going to talk me through the stages now. So, Vaughn, what do I need to do first? Raise your arms up. OK. And then back down. Why am I doing this? The uh, computer needs to learn what it looks like for, your, for you to move around. Okay. And it sees how, how much you can stretch and move and so forth. So it understands how you move. OK, Gaffin, we're now switching to the robot character. So I want you to just adjust accordingly. So give me a light jog up to the top corner. Just give me some high punches. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, come on, harder, tougher. There you go. Swing. You're in a fight. Right, let's see if we can go quicker than that guy on screen. <laughs> Gethbox can destroy the world. Here we go. I tell you what, the technology is incredible. It replicates my every move perfectly. I might even ask him if I can keep the suit. It's a bit of a dancing suit. Look. <laughs> I bet you've never seen anyone dance as bad as this before. Finally, all good computer characters have catchphrases. Yeah, baby! So I'm going to record a few for Gethbot. OK, Greg, ready? 
You are joking me! Yeah, that's good. Chrysler! Excuse me, did you just cuss? <laughs> no, it's Welsh for welcome. Hiya! That's good. Here's what I made earlier. Yeah, oh, that's a good Come one. Come on. <laughs> Sticky tip. Stop! <laughs> When a game is first completed, to make sure there's no problems with it, it's tested by up to 50 people for up to 80 hours a week, and they get paid for it. I think the time has come to test the Gethbot. His dad worked on the rise of the Enderminer, so Calvin would be an expert bot-bashing buddy. Who do you want to be, Mr Incredible or Frozone? Mr Incredible. OK, there's your controller. I'll take mine. Let's see how tough the Gethbot really is, shall we? Come and get it. Yeah! Hi, Luke! <laughs> Never forget a Welsh robot. That's me! Come and get it. Here's what I made earlier. You are joking me. <laughs> it's all over for me. Back to the studio. Ah! John Lasseter is the co-founder of Pixar Films, which celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. Pixar are famous for making animated classics like Toy Story, Finding Nemo and The Incredibles. And they're about to release their latest film, Cars. Oh, dude, are you crying? No, I'm happy! Well, <laughs> now we are lucky enough to have the animation legend in the studio himself. It is John Lasseter, everyone. Yes, it's great to see you, John. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's fantastic to be here. <laughs> it's fantastic to be on Blue Peter again. I'm so excited. Wonderful. Aww. Good stuff. Yeah, it's really good to have you back. Now, we've seen a little bit of Cars. Uh -huh. It's not actually out until the 28th of July. It is a long awaited. But here, just for Blue Peter viewers, we've got a sneak preview. I have followed the racing my entire life, my whole life! Then you know who I am. I'm Lightning McQueen! Lightning McQueen! Yes! Yes! I must scream into the world my excitement from the top of some place very high! Do you know many Ferraris? No, 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 no. They race on the European circuit. I'm in the Piston Cup! Well, there it is. I tell you, I've been lucky enough to see it. It is an absolutely oh. fantastic well, Thank film you on. so much. We're it's... so proud of it. <laughs> and rightly so. I mean, it's a wonderful story. I won't spoil it, but it's got the most fabulous ending. And do stick around for the end credits as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We always have special stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. end credits are very important on Pixar films. Now, John, it's so yes. clever to, like, give cars characters and animate them in the, that way. What made you come up with the idea in the first place? Well, I grew up in Los Angeles, and my dad worked at, um, at a Chevrolet dealership mm. as a parts manager, and I love cars because of that. And I just always have loved the, the idea of cars being characters. Yeah, absolutely. You know? And so he just came up with the idea, and uh, I started working on it after Toy Story 2. And it's been a long time coming, and I'm very excited about it. Yeah, it's true, actually, because you've got sports cars, and you've got ploddy old bangers and stuff, so it's really yeah. clever to yeah, do Yeah, it, it, it has one foot in racing and one foot in, in old Route 66. There's old cars and new cars, and it's, for, it's not just for boys, but it's for girls, too. And, oh. and it's, it's really fun. It's got a heartwarming story. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. The good news is it looks fantastic, but the bad news is you've got a lot of hot competition stiff on your heels. Because oh, yeah? here in the studio, we've got some young animators oh, from Newport fantastic. Primary School. They've recently won an award for that animation, The Enchanted Gore, through the UK Film Council, First wow. Light Film Awards. So, Liam, can you talk us a bit through your film? Um, well, we... When the filmmakers first came in, mm -hmm. the, we had a choice of what film we were going to do, whether it be like flipboard or animation and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then we went, read through some scripts and um, we chose The Enchanted God right. and then we changed it a bit and... We've seen That's a bit of it there and it looks fab, doesn't it, John? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, look at that. What a great sense of character. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Now then, John, all of our budding animators yes. are they're loaded with questions for you. So let's start oh, with great. you, Matthew. What would you like to ask, John? Um, I've got this picture here. And um, do you have any hints or tips? Well, um, that's a character you created, right? Yeah. His name is Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> that is really a great design for someone named Weirdo. He's got a bolt going right through his head, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be weird. I think he looks great. He's got a cleft in his chin. He's got a great sense of character. I just keep going. You know, um, do you draw with your tongue out? 
like that? I do. That always helps me. <laughs> so do I. That's yeah, amazing. That's, I see that. that's great. Okay, Jill, what's your question? Um, which film are you most proud of? That's like asking me which of my five sons I like the most. But I do, I'm very, I'm very fond of our new movie, Cars, because it's a very special movie to me. Um, but I also love Buzz and Woody in both Toy Story and Toy Story 2. They're very, very special to me. Okay, Ellie, what's your question? When, I'm, when I grow up, I'd like to be an animator and work with you. How can I do that? I would love that, too. You know, the best way to do it is when you, you, you finish school and you go off to college, you study to become an artist. The most important thing to learn is the basic art training, learning to draw, learning color, learning design. Because we use computers, that, but they're just tools. They don't do anything for you. And computers will always change. The tools will change. But you need to know what to do with your tools. So learning to be a, a really good artist is the most important thing. Then you, you look on our website at Pixar, and you see all the jobs that we have available. We're always looking for good people. And then send in your portfolio. And next thing you know, you'll have a career at Pixar. Oh. Well, John, of course, you started drawing when you were very young. But yes. how, do you, how do you actually come up with the characters that we know and love, like Woody and Buzz? Oh, you know, each... Each movie is different, each of uh, the characters. Sometimes the stories, when we're writing the stories, they'll call for, mm -hmm. like Buzz and Woody, for instance. We had an old toy and a new toy. Mm -hmm. And we, the old toy, um, we wanted to have sort of like, um, you know, some sort of old-fashioned toy. We thought a cowboy was great. Mm -hmm. And a new toy with action figures that are very popular, we thought, well, a space action hero would be great. Yeah. You yeah, know, and yeah. so that's kind of how those two got started. And with cars, I just look out on the street and mm. I start seeing cars and they are characters to me. And like, yeah, yeah. we have an old Volkswagen van that's a hippie and he lives right next to, to an <laughs> army jeep that's a yeah. World War II veteran. Yeah, so the inspiration is all around you. All around. The animators notes, are guys. always <laughs> looking and always observing and always remembering. Well, John, you have changed the world of animation as we know it. You've brought so many characters to life that Thank people you. will enjoy Thank for you many, so much, many eh? years. And because of that, John, we would yeah. like to award you with the program's highest accolade. It's this. It's a gold blue Peter yeah. bag. Whoa! Woo! How about that? The eh? gold blue Peter? The gold one. I don't oh, want to wow. win this wonderful shirt that you've got on here because it's I've got all the characters on. Hard to wow. come by. Yeah, we I've don't get those. <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble pinning that on, so don't thank go anywhere quickly. So you might lose it. Thank but you. Uh, thank you very wow. much indeed for That's coming really on. Really it's been thank great. Thank you so much. That is our pleasure. And if you are interested in animation, then get yourselves along to the Science Museum where you'll see this wonderful exhibition of 20 years of Pixar. It's brilliant. Absolutely. And if you would like the opportunity to win an exclusive animation by John Lasseter that he's been doodling right here, right now. There it is. There, there it, is. it is. Plus a crazy car DVD TV combo. Then make sure you check out our website for all the details. It's a real exclusive. So find out how you could be in with the chance. Now then, a big thank you to the legend of animation, John Lasseter, and the kids thank from Newport you. Primary. John, thank you, you guys.